To be an intersex person is a person who is born biologically part male and part female. So it's different to sexual orientation or gender identity in that it is about a person's biology. So for me, what it means is that as an intersex person, I'm biologically born different um, when it comes to sex in that I'm a part, part male and part female. The main and largest issue that intersex people face is the right to physical integrity and to, prov and to provide informed consent for irreversible non-therapeutic surgeries. Still in Australia and around the world today, intersex children are routinely forced to undergo surgeries uh, without their consent and that are not medically required and that are irreversible. Currently, the Equal Opportunity Act in Victoria includes the attribute of gender identity, but that only covers some intersex people. In fact, it only covers a small portion of us because gender identity isn't really the biggest issue for intersex people. Federally, we've now got the attribute of intersex status in federal law, and we would like to see that replicated in the State Equal Opportunity Act. The main thing about the way that children are treated by doctors when they're infants is just to be treated with respect, um, to be afforded the opportunity to receive medical care when they need it, but to also give children the option of providing consent to whatever surgeries and hormone treatment that's being done to them. If medical treatment isn't medically required, they should wait, as simple as that give the child counselling and support and nurture, give the parents whatever support and guidance they need, put them in touch with support groups, but don't just rush off to a scalpel or hormone treatment. Allow that child to make an informed decision about their bodies and their own lives. Our rights around the world sadly haven't improved much. There is a growing awareness of intersex, but it's slow, it's, it's slow. Um, we are making improvements in Australia, as we saw with the federal uh, legislation last year with the inclusion of the attribute intersex status, but we still have a long way to go. There was a Senate report last year about the coercive involuntary sterilisation of intersex children, and that's got a number of recommendations, and we need to see those recommendations worked on by the federal government.